Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today I'm going to teach you guys the best ways to do landscaping. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome. So we're going to go into some landscaping. So the first little portion of this video, this video shouldn't be too long. Uh, the first portion is just going to go over quickly how to landscape, how to get into that, how to do it, you know, stuff like that, just kind of the basics of it. So uh, we are on Felsburn here. So first off, to landscape an area, um, you do need to own the land. So I bought us some land around here. That should be plenty of area for us to do some landscaping and experiment some stuff. So you do need to own the land. Second thing, landscaping is very expensive, so you're going to need to have some significant funds, unless you're playing with where you just throw money in or cheat it in, you can use uh, easy development tools to do this, you can use government subsidies if you're on console, so yeah, there's that. And also, I will mention too, the first four of my tips that we're going to go over later will apply to both console, or should apply to both console and PC players, my fifth tip is for PC only. Um, and as far as the basics go for how to landscape, this will apply to console players as well. You just may have different controls, and I don't know what those controls are, so I'm just going to give the PC controls. But other than that, it should all work very similarly or the same. So anyhow, we are on Felsburn, as I mentioned, and you do need to own the land and you need money to landscape. So what we are going to do now is we're going to go into the screen that allows you to landscape. So if we go into the store by hitting P on PC, you're going to want to go to the shovel icon at the end. Now, if we hit this button here, start landscaping, it brings us up into a screen. Now, this is um, basically it's going to usually usually it just brings you to right where you're at. But uh, if that's say you are over here. And you're like, oh, well, this is where I was landscaping earlier, but I actually need to landscape, you know, where my character is at. Then you hit the space bar and it'll center you back here. Um, so that is an option for you as well. Um, so as you can see here, there's a green circle. That means I can landscape this area versus if I go to land I don't own over here. It says you don't own this land. You can see that message popping up down there. So it won't let me to landscape that. Um, it also won't let you landscape if there's a structure in the way, such as a tree. So it's not going to land. let me landscape over this tree, over the roadway, uh, stuff like that. There is a way around that for PC players, which we're going to go into at the very end. But anyhow, you see a circle, it means you can landscape. So if I turn on our help menu, which I am for this, because there's so many different features in the landscaping. So the first one, um, we will do it. Sure, we'll do it right in here. Actually, this will be fine. So the first feature on there, if we look down, it's to um actually let me see where i want to start with here so the first thing we'll go over is the um the controls for how to move around so w a s d on pc to move around here if i hit q it's going to rotate me like that if i hit e it's going to rotate me like that um now if i hit the air the um arrow keys by that's up to the or it's the right arrow key is going to bring up the size of our landscaping and the left arrow key is going to bring it down smaller that's as small as it goes and that's as big as it goes there. Now, if I hit X, it's going to change the landscaping mode. So that's going to take us to painting where I'm allowed to paint versus actually landscape, which is what I'm doing there. So that's another option for you too. Now, if you wanted to do this in a square form, you can have this square come in like this. There is a way to make this bigger and smaller. However, you can't, uh, you can't rotate how the square goes. For example, if I wanted to make a squared thing along here, I have to do it like this. I can't rotate this uh, square around at all. So which is it is what it is <laughs> it just is how it goes so um that's most of those controls there now let's actually start talking about how to actually landscape so as far as painting goes i'll hit x to go back into painting mode all i do is click and it's going to paint there boom 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 now i recommend actually one thing i will say so if i go to a grass texture here oh i passed it let me go back around I'm hitting tab, by the way, to adjust what I'm landscaping down here, what texture I'm going to use. So base game textures, I can just hit tab, 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 and go through them all like that. If I go to grass here, now let's say I made this field here and it's got rough edges. This obviously is perfect edges here, but if you're making your own field and you want to put uh, smooth edges around it because you're using a plow or whatever you may do, you can come up to it like this and you can kind of cut back and use the square tool here as long as it goes along the square tool and you can make a smooth edge to your field. So I do this very often. I can't remember who told me that trick, but I have learned a lot about landscaping since I become a uh, farming simulator YouTuber, and I've also gotten much better at it. So uh, someone mentioned that I should make a video on it, so here we go. But anyhow, that's a good tip in order to make smooth fields is I can make that edge along there like that. Um, you can do it with this. It's just a little bit more difficult, as you can see. Um, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But again, you can paint with that, or you can paint with that. And again, I'm hitting C to change those. So um as far as painting goes that's pretty much everything going to landscaping um we have a couple options you can see down there so if i click the left mouse button it's going to raise the terrain now if i come over here and i hit the right mouse button it's going to lower the terrain the next thing i have on there if i hit the uh center mouse button 
or yeah, the center mouse button, hold that down, it's gonna smooth. So it smooths between two surfaces, as you can see there. So that's how it's gonna smooth about. That makes it like that. Now, if I wanna flatten, so I, I, can, I can just hold down both mouse buttons. So let's say I like this, this, I want these two chunks of land to be the same height as this. I just hold down the flatten and I move over it and it will perfectly flatten it out. Now understand that landscapes are genuinely as you can see there, they're not flat. The game makes them smooth and make them more realistic and more, you know, just more scenic in general. So um, if you come too far, you are gonna have some of these issues here where you're gonna see some of that. So just be aware of that. And if I do, like I did there, I was smoothing this and then I went up somewhere where it was a little bit higher, it's now gonna take that new terrain, so be careful. And our money is going down pretty quickly, as you can see, just smoothing a little bit, so, or just flattening a little bit. So um, again, it is very expensive to landscape. So those are the basic controls for how to uh, landscape. The one thing I will note too, actually, before we keep going here, is it says change strength about halfway down that menu, which is says left control Q and left control E. So if I hit left control Q, nothing's gonna happen right now, but if I hit E, it's slowly gonna raise this up, as you can see there, all the way till it gets to the max. That makes us work a lot faster. As you can see, that was a lot more intense of a motion. It doesn't matter for flattening, uh, flattening will still work at basically the same speed. Uh, smoothing, it will smooth a lot faster, and actually I think this is very useful. However, I will say, if I am using a circle, um, it doesn't necessarily show up as obviously, so there's nothing really to indicate it. Um, so I recommend going to here, and you can adjust down or up wherever you kind of want it to be, but I'm gonna adjust this back down to there. Oop, that's not what I wanted. There we go. And you will hit the wrong buttons. And one big, 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 big major tip before you do any landscaping, go into the menu, go over to here, turn auto save off and save your game absolutely every single time. And the reason I say do that, because if you make a mistake, there's no undo button inside of the landscape tool. There's no way to undo what you've just done. So once it's done, it's done, unless you have a save game where you can revert back to. So definitely do that. Now, a few tips. So number one, these are just a couple of things that I wanna go over. So if I wanna flatten um, a spot to maybe build a farmyard. So let's say I wanted to, um, this, this area right here is not the best. So you can see, let's say I wanted to build a farmyard in this little zone here. So first off, I'm gonna get a big, uh, zone here. I'm going to pick what landscape. Let's say I want it to be pretty close to even with the road or a little closer to that. So let me get it right about there as close as I can get to the road. And I'm going to bring out from there. So now I get a, a small area. I can get a bigger fix off of that and I can bring this out. So this is going to be my new farmyard. This is why I want it flat because I'm going to put placeable objects down, which is a big reason why people should landscape first as because it really helps out a lot. So boom, just like that. Now, one thing I will note, you probably want this to be smooth if you are kind of OCD like me. So you're going to come up, slowly work your way in. Or if you do that, and most of it's on the terrain you want it, you can then flatten from there. So if I wanted that little section over, I can now click it, and it'll do it. Move over, click, and I'm holding down both mouse buttons to be able to flatten like that. So as long as the majority of your um, zone that you're going to landscape is on the height that you're going to want it to be on, that will work to make it so like that would not work. It's down lower. So that will work and you can kind of slide across and maybe even bring it in slowly to make it kind of work a little better. But anyhow, we have a nice area here. So this is this is nice and dandy and whatnot, but uh, a couple of things to make this maybe a little bit better or a little bit more what you're looking for. Let's say you still have this field down here. You don't just want to drive off a cliff to get to your field. So let's go ahead and take this down and we're gonna use the smooth tool to smooth this up. I might even raise this up a little bit and I might smooth between them. So if I zoom in here, and I do a little smoothing here. So this is gonna help me kind of maybe make a little bit of a way. And again, I can work with this for a while to make it as smooth and nice as I want, but that's gonna be a way to get down to this field. And I might um, even go as far as to, I don't know, make it a little bit of a dirt road or something like that. Let me get to, yeah, this dirt, whatever dirt will work for you. But yeah, I can do something like that to make it more smooth. And then as far as the rest of the textures, this you might wanna kind of simulate the fact that it's been cut into the landscape. So you might wanna get a painting texture such as um, one of these kind of rocky ones here and kind of go around that section right there to kind of finish that off. That gives it a really nice look as if you kind of cut into the landscape and you can kind of, now that's sand there, but you can kind of smooth that out into some dirt or whatever you want to do at the very end. Um, now there's a field up top there. If I didn't want to mess with that field, I'd leave that alone. But if I wanted to kind of cut a little bit of this away because I, maybe I did too much or I made my, you know, whatever the case may be, I can do kind of some of this stuff right here. 
kind of edge that around and I can keep going around and as you can see I kind of bumped up but that's kind of something to do to kind of make a nice flat area a nice placeable area and again you can smooth a lot of this stuff out along here well it's harder to do because once you get too close to that area where there's a placeable it's not gonna let you smooth it but as you can see I can make that look a less uh, kind of just kind of abrupt and more smooth and more natural if that makes any sense at all but so that's an option there for you now my second tip or my second thing I want to go over how to do is how to cut into the land um, so let's say I want, um, maybe I want a farm yard in here. I want to put a silo in here. I don't care about this field. Um, so I will just, for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to paint over this field to get rid of it just because we don't want it. We don't care about the field. The field does not matter to us. So I can just get rid of this field. Now painting does cost money as well. It doesn't cost as much money, but it does cost money. So just be aware of that. Now, as you can see here, it's not charging me to paint over grass if it's already grass there. But if it's not grass there, it will charge you to paint over. It's like that dirt there. It's going to charge me to paint over that. And you can get away with a little bit more with the, that tool there. But all right. So I want to, let's say, cut a farmyard into here. So I'm going to want to, again, get it close to where the road's starting out. Um, if I go to that, let's see here, I'm going to get a good spot where I can start. There we go. So that's kind of about pretty close to level with the the road there so again this is similar to what i'm going to do over here but it's going to be a little bit more extreme so if i'm cutting into such a large oops it's cutting into such a large landscape i'm going to use the flatten tool i'm going to slowly work the edges back i'm going to expand as i go to make it a little bit faster until i get kind of a rough shape this is exactly what i did with wilhelmina forest by the way so i get a nice big rough shape into here so let's say this is my new farmyard that i want in here what i can do go along the edges as much as i want to and smooth them out Get them as even as I want to. Again, it's easier a lot of times to use this tool, the square version. Perfect. And if I come over to here, say I want to get a little bit more of that cut away. Oop, I made a big cut there. Well, we're going to ignore that. We'll just go over and work on this. So that's why you save right there, because that would be a perfect example of that's going to be hard to recover from. So then I would load back in. But since I'm doing a tutorial, I am just going to keep rolling with it. So we'll go in this corner. What I should have done to do that is turn to view it, but I'm going to just keep working over here. We'll get this kind of right where I want it. Yep, right along there. Nice, smooth. And you might like some of this kind of unevenness. Maybe you want this little bit of a curve at the end there um, to show that maybe it wasn't evenly cut. But anyhow, then depending on what you want to do here, how smooth you want it, um, you can kind of go along here and you can kind of smooth out the train like that to make it look more natural. Or if you really want to smooth it out, you can really ramp up the uh, smooth tool here to be a little bit more extreme, and it's going to really smooth it out. And as you can see there, you're going to get a nice, and you can kind of, if you want it to run a little bit further in, you can move yourself in like that. Yeah, just like that. So that's kind of the way to go about it, if you wanted to smooth that out. So we can get ourselves kind of a nice actual farmyard here, or looking like, you know, we kind of cut into the landscape here, but it's more, much more natural. And that might be something where you still put rocks on like we did over there. So um, we could do something where we put rocks on that. So let me get to some rocks here. Yeah, let's say we wanted to put some rocks on there. Again, we can paint that up around, make that look like we kind of cut into it. Or maybe you'll actually want dirt on there and you can put a different dirt feature um, or something like that. Depends on what you want. If you want it to look like it was cut in, um, and it's all soil or maybe it's only soil down to you know let me get back around to the rocks here so maybe it's only soil to a certain depth so you kind of want to give a look like that so because that is a lot of times uh areas where there's big hills there's going to be obviously rock formations and the actual you know earth's going to get very rocky down below but there might be topsoil that's on top there so you could do something like that but that's kind of just how to cut into the landscape like that um yeah, so that's one way to go about that. The next thing I'm gonna go into is smoothing an area for a field. And the reason this matters is, uh, well, I do this a lot on Wilhelmina Forest, I'll say. So to kind of set this up, um, let's say we kind of have some various terrain that's not really, you know, this is not fun terrain, something kind of crazy like this. I know this is a little extreme, but let's say I wanted to put a field on some land here. This might be a little bit too much here. Lower that down. But if you wanted to take some kind of crazy landscape like this uh, to make a field, which I, I like to do on forestry maps when I'm playing, um, because a lot of times I'm trying to make fields on those areas, and it's kind of tricky to make a field in an area that's kind of hilly and has a lot of forestry issues without um, actually ruining the landscape, because I may not want to cut in this far into the landscape. That might be pretty extreme to cut a huge area out of the landscape, and it might really change the look of it. Um, so a way to go about this, if I wanted to kind of smooth this a little bit to make it a field, this won't turn out great in some of these crevices because um, there's quite a bit of difference there. But uh, 
this is one tip you can go about it. So if I, and I recommend doing it, um, let's go over here, with the smooth tool and max capacity. And again, you're just gonna smooth through it. You're just gonna smooth through it as fast as possible, just like that using the, the max level of the smooth tool. So you can take this kind of unusable landscape and you can kind of work on turning it and contouring it into something that might be used as a field or could be used for something else. So if I kind of work my way and you can see there how that works, use the, use the biggest form. You don't want to do this in a small way. You want to do the biggest form to make it easiest. When it smooths, it's dividing the differences between the two terrain heights at each end of the, uh, the spectrum or throughout the, the whole area that the smooth tool is covering. So this is kind of, you know, kind of do some of this, smooth that out. And again, I can keep working this and working this, and this does cost money, but what it does is it takes a, a, a severe landscape and kind of makes it more usable. So as you can see here, this is a lot better, and I could probably make a field in a lot of this. And this hill here is pretty extreme, so I could kind of smooth that out more and work it out some more, as you can see there. Yeah, so just kind of like that. You kind of work with it to make it kind of more um, usable as a field or something like that. Now, the second thing I want to go into is making a hill. So obviously you can raise stuff up. So if I just raise this up right there, well, I may not want to make a, you know, a crazy high hill like that. Um, that's going to be pretty extreme. And yeah, so if I come up here and I smooth it, I can kind of make a pretty intense hill like that. But what if I want, you know, something a little bit different? Um, let's go over here. Let's say I want to make something that slowly works its way up to that height. Well, what I can do, you can do this in any form. So I can do this to kind of get the hill started. This is something you may want to cheat money in to do because this obviously is going to cost a lot. So let's say I wanted to make something that, um, let me lower down the speed of this a little bit, just the intensity of it. Um, I'm going to raise that up just a little bit more. So get something like this, depending on how steep you want the hill, you can kind of get these stair steps put in. Oops, that's a little bit too much of a stair step there. I'll smooth that out. Use the flatten tool a little bit. Use the flatten tool there. Use the flatten tool there. And again, this is something that takes a little bit of time to get uh, set up. But uh, let me smooth that out there. And let me raise that up. Smooth that. Raise that up. Smooth that out there. Maybe lower that down just a touch. So yeah, I have this here, but this isn't really usable land. I mean, you could place stuff on it, sure, but it doesn't look natural. None of it looks good. Now, obviously, this is a small example. You'd want to do stuff around the side and kind of work your way around. And uh, what I mean by that is you're probably going to want to do, you know, maybe do kind of a tier like that, a tier system where that's going to work its way around like that. And you can do this around a hill um, as big as you want to make it. So you can kind of do some of that stuff like that. And then once you have this kind of uh, initial setup done, um, what you're going to do is you're going to really crank up the sensibility on this, and then you're just going to use the smooth tool. You're going to start from the bottom and work your way up, or start from the top and work your way down. And you're going to kind of smooth this together, layer by layer, until you start to see kind of a just kind of a big steep hill. Now, obviously, it's not perfect. You can see there's kind of still some tiers in it. If you didn't want tiers, make um, smaller adjustments and put it really close together like this. So it just takes more time if you want it to be more uh, perfect depending on what you're doing. But yeah, then you kind of smooth along here and you can smooth this out as much as you want to. Work your way along there. And just do some of that like that. The tire test video that I did, this is how I made the field, but oh, I'm doing stuff way off in the distance over here, which do I own that land? Oh, I guess I do. Say so I shouldn't let me do it if I don't own it, but yeah, so just like that. And you can keep working this and working this until you get the hill that you want. But that's a good way to kind of design a hill and, uh, yeah, get something you like. Now, if you just want a steep hill like that one off in the distance, you can do that as well. But that's something that works. Now, my final tip is for PC players only, and that is have Global Company installed. So if I get out of this screen here and I go Control-G to open Global Company, I go over to here, Activate Extended Placeables. So what that allows you to do is the areas where you couldn't before landscape, you can now. Like, I don't own this land, but I can now landscape on it. There's a road here, but I can landscape over top of it like that. And I'm actually curious to see what this car does. <laughs> oh, there you go. Car kind of struggles to get through it, but it does. So you can do stuff like that that's kind of wild. Now, some areas it won't work. A lot of times it doesn't like uh, bodies of water, but if you work your way out, oops, let me do this instead, actually. If you work your way out to the body of water, a lot of times you can take over the body of water like this by smoothing, and then you have control of the landscape. And see, I'm just destroying this map in general, but you can do whatever you want. The store, sure, why not have, you know, it gone? I don't know, you can do whatever you need to do. The activate extended placeable, 
really just kind of allows you to do whatever you want. So if we come down to the town here, we could really wreak some havoc if we wanted to. So I can come across there, I can lower that down, put a big pit in the town, smooth that out. You know, I can do whatever I want to do. It's it's very, very, yeah, this <laughs> kind of gives you a lot of freedom to do what you want. Now, this is outside of the town, poss or outside of the map, possibly. But if I work my way, yeah, that might be outside of where we can get to. Sometimes if it's outside the map or too close on the edge or if the body of water is too big. But look, you can put a field down here if you really wanted to. But, so yeah, there you go. That gives you a lot of freedom to do different stuff with uh, landscaping and everything like that. And that activate extended placeable tool if you don't know about it it also gives you the ability to place structures wherever you want so i can place this structure well sometimes it's a little bit peculiar but i can place it on the roadway there i can place it in that light post there i you know sometimes it doesn't like it i guess but i've had some issues with that recently but a lot of times it gives you more freedom obviously to place it place stuff wherever you want and i can place stuff inside of stuff and do that kind of crazy stuff like that but yeah no obviously i do went kind of just haywire and what kind of extreme with it but just that's just kind of a, a start to what you can do with it there's a lot you can do a lot of different stuff like that and just to put it in perspective all that landscaping i did cost about 5.3 million dollars i think from what i had or 4.3 something like that i think i had um 10 million 100 thousand to start out but uh as you can see, we're down to $5.7 million in the bank. So anyhow, that is all of my tips, tricks, and different guides to landscaping. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cup channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cup, guys. Thank you for coming and watching.